sharing crowded roads is becoming more hazardous to pedestrians. Pedestrian crashes have jumped 46% since reaching a low point in 2009. Most of these crashes are occurring on our busiest roadways in urban and suburban areas. They're also occurring away from intersections, generally at mid-block locations, and they are occurring under dark conditions. When you force pedestrians to walk long distances to reach a signalized intersection and a safe crossing, they will often choose the riskier option of crossing mid-block, which sometimes requires them to actually run across the street in the middle of traffic. But it's not simply enough to paint more crosswalks on the pavement at these mid-block locations. You also need to incorporate additional features, such as pedestrian-activated beacons, that will alert drivers that they need to stop for pedestrians, as well as crossing islands that allow pedestrians to cross one direction of travel at a time. While the story of speed limits in the past few decades has been one of rising limits, we need to reconsider that as we look at our pedestrian safety picture. We need to lower speed limits and we also need to enforce our limits. One way to do that is through the use of automated enforcement or speed cameras. This is an intervention that has been shown to reduce the number of injury crashes that we have on our highways, particularly those that are associated with speed. A large majority of our pedestrian deaths occur under dark conditions. Better roadway lighting as well as better vehicle headlights would help drivers see a pedestrian sooner and ultimately prevent those types of crashes. The track is ready, you can begin your run. Institute test of headlights have shown that they're not always up to the job of helping a driver detect an obstacle or a pedestrian in time to avoid a crash. Our ratings program, which was launched in 2016, will lead to headlights that light up the roadway better without blinding oncoming drivers. Crash prevention technology is gonna help in the long run as well. Subaru vehicles equipped with front crash prevention technology that can detect pedestrians have been shown to reduce the number of pedestrian crashes. SUVs have higher and often more vertical designs than passenger cars, which results in them striking a pedestrian in the head or the chest area. Changing the front end designs of SUVs could result in lowering the risk to a pedestrian when they are struck. Improvements in road design, vehicle design, lighting, and speed limit enforcement all have a role to play to address this problem.